I met Judith when I was 69 years old. I'm 84 now. And I, we're going just as strong as ever. It's wonderful. <laughs> Did you push record? Thanks so much for tuning into our second act with Paige and Silka. Today our focus is back on love and relationships after 50 and I'm so happy to have Frank Wiegers joining us again. Frank, thanks so much for being here. Oh, Silka, it's always so much fun talking to you and thanks so much for having me. I love talking about this stuff, you know. <laughs> I know you do, as does your wife, Judith, who's been on the program a few times as well. Both of you, uh, you know, run a love, sex, and relationship practice. Uh, you've given fabulous advice uh, to our audience, let alone all the people that you work with. And, uh, you know, that's what I wanted to have a conversation with you about today again, is because there's so many people that uh, just don't believe that it's possible anymore at this age and not only you know do you counsel people on this but you yourself as well as Jews have gone through this you found love late in life and you know we're really happy to hear more about how you made that possible so give us just a brief history of where you came from and how you got here today well you know I don't want to give you the whole fighter pilot story but just to briefly my, I met my first wife. We, we were married for 16 years. We couldn't get the passion thing worked out. We divorced, had a rebound marriage, which all I had was passion, but nothing else. And that lasted 16 months. Then I had a long bachelorhood, met another woman. We did everything passion that we could think of, but the spiritual connection wasn't there. So that didn't work out. And then I started studying because I wanted to know how to have a good relationship and find the mate that I really wanted. Because I believe that having a really powerful, fulfilling, passionate relationship is the juice that gets me going. And and it's a connection that's the divine connection. I believe it's a spiritual practice. So, you know, I, I studied, I, I've got three degrees. I know how to study and I know how to research. So I studied with teachers from all over the world. And I love that quote from uh, John Maxwell, I think said, you know, your dream won't work unless you do. And I know that sounds like a lot of work, but you know, when, when you get a job, you either had some training or they give you on the job training. But when you go to date, who gave you the training? Yeah. Where did you learn how to date successfully? So that's the whole idea of creating this course is to get people a successful program that will teach them what they need to have the skills and the confidence to go out there and find their soulmate and have the life of their dreams. Yeah. Well, and, and one thing that just through your uh, uh, introduction that came to me across very strong is that you learned from your experience from each relationship you were in. You didn't go back to that same you know, person, you, 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 you did progress. You didn't necessarily make the right choices, <laughs> but that's what, that's what it's all about is, is learning and, 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 you know, growing from that. Right. Well, so, Silka, I've been around the block more than once, <laughs> more than 10 times. Anyhow, and I made almost every mistake you can, and maybe some that aren't even in the books. <laughs> that's when I said, you know, I, I've got to figure this out. I have to do that because I'm not giving up and I'm 84 years old. I'm still not giving it up. I want that loving, passionate relationship because that fulfills me and it fulfills her. And that's more important than any job, any hobby, anything else I could do. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I believe if I want to learn something, I'm going to go to people who, who are experts, you know, in the field. I, I love the fact that you're, you know, at 80, what are you now? 82, three, four. Oh, four. So I've known you for a while. <laughs> But that you are, you're just, you talk about this, you frank, you know, dynamic advice. And th this is something we can take to heart. And I love the fact that you put a formulaic approach to make actionable, uh, you know, an actionable plan to actually doing, getting this done. Obviously, we'll link to all of your information to the program. I highly encourage people to get in touch with Frank. You're, you're so fun to talk to. But what, what, how, what is the first step? How do you prepare yourself? Is it mentally? Is it what, how do you get back out there when you don't have the confidence to do so? You know, last time we talked, 
you know, I mentioned the fact that, go, you know, going to look for a soulmate is kind of like going to look for a really good job. You have to polish your resume, get your nice clothes on, go on interviews and so on. And when you get to that job, you either had some training before you got that job or you get some on the job training. Well, where do you get that in dating and relationship? You know, in the relationship, you probably got it from your parents and they may not have been the best role models or in dating, it's just hit or miss. So unless you have some technology, unless you have some processes that will get you out there and, and you have to know who you are first. Everybody says, well, I know who I am. Well, yeah. Have you looked at your beliefs? Have you looked at your values? Have you looked at what brings you joy? Have you looked at what you're really good at? Do you have all that lined up? Have you looked at your relationship history? I mean, all that stuff plays into this. And if you haven't got that sorted out, you're going to wind up in the same place. Right. Right. It's learning from, you know, from experience, which is, again, one of the reasons that I like talking to you so much, because you, you know, not only do you teach this, you know, you've gone through this both from an academic <laughs> viewpoint, as well as personally, you've really taken this seriously. You know, what, how do you find love and, and, and put a formulaic, as you say, approach to it? And, and that's exactly right, because unless you know those processes, unless you know what steps to take, and actually there's a certain order to taking these steps. And it, and it really starts with what is your vision for your life? And how, how do you want that vision with your life and the life of your soulmate to work? And what's your vision for how that soulmate should be? What are their characteristics? What are the things that they must have in order to get along with you? And what are the things they must not have that could really mess you up, like gambling or addiction or any of that stuff. So. What, well, with all the people that you've worked with, Frank, what do you see some common mistakes that maybe aren't so obvious as we're making them? Well, yeah, they're, they're not obvious right away because, you know, we go out and we meet people and, boy, the chemistry is great. The sex is amazing. And the, we, we talk all night. There's all these conversations. So then we decide to commit and maybe we just move in together and live together. Well, that becomes like a mini marriage, you know, and then a year or two goes by and it's not working out. You know, you didn't realize that they were going to be that way because you didn't do your due diligence. And so now you've got to get a mini divorce and that's not any less painful than any other kind of divorce. So in order to avoid that, if you have the processes that will allow you to qualify that prospective soulmate like a good salesman knows before he goes into his whole pitch he asks the prospect are you really interested in buying one of these and if they say well no i just want to kind of look and get a feel for it well then he knows he can give them a quick presentation and move on but if they are really serious then you get you keep going deeper and deeper and we have the processes that will get you to drill down really deep so you've got a lasting relationship that's what it's all that's what dating all this dating process is all about is finding a lasting loving passionate relationship you know it's it's funny i uh, just interviewed another relationship expert uh, robert manny he's been on the program and he also uh, said about qualifying you know your potential partner and i know you and i have talked about that i wonder if that's a male thing do women not think about that is that something that women for forget or it's not natural for us to qualify a man you know i think i think you have a really good point there and I, I i don't think that women necessarily think in those quantitative terms now not that's not all women because judith certainly isn't that way i mean she analyzes the bejesus out of everything so, <laughs> well she's a psychoanalyst <laughs> but, but she doesn't make mistakes either so you know you, you've got to do the work but but don't think of it like work Think of it like if you wanted to play the piano or if you wanted to play golf or if you wanted to play the guitar or if you wanted to fly an airplane, you go to an instructor and you get training and you get coaching. And if you're playing a sport, you probably not only get a coach, you get a trainer and all that. So you do all that stuff to prep. Well, why don't you do that for your dating and your love life? God almighty, that would really make things a lot easier, a lot quicker. I met Judith when I was 69 years old. I'm 84 now. And I, we're going just as strong as ever. It's wonderful. And 
God bless me. I have a partner that inspires me and keeps me going. And, and you know, and, and you can have that. Anybody can have that if you know what you're doing and you put the effort into it. If you treat your relationship the same way you treat your sport, your hobby, your job, it's amazing. There's just wonderful value there. And what I don't know how else to say it. Well, no, that's and that is really the key message, I think, uh, you know, certainly for me uh, that it, in this segment is that one, it's possible. You know, it's it, it, that's one message we want to keep putting out there over and over again. Yes, it is possible to find true love and perhaps your quote soulmate, you know, people say, oh, there's no such thing as a soulmate or we have more than one, blah, blah, blah. But go ahead, you were gonna say something. Oh, well, yes, you know, the, the problem is that, that you hear all the sob stories, you hear all the, the sad tales, people don't believe they can have it and they don't have the confidence to go out there and get it. And that's one of the other reasons I developed this program because A, it gives you the courage, B, it gives you the skills and once you have all that and you know who you are and what you want, that gives you the confidence to go out there and get it. And here's the, here's the steps you take to, to go out there. Here's how to do it. You have to change this to get this. So, well, and that comes from somebody with a lot of experience. Yeah. Frank, thank you so much. I highly encourage everyone to you know check out Frank's program. We will link to it in our video description, and uh, you know contact Frank directly. You you I think you offer some sort of introductory calls, don't you? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have all that information and I uh, look forward to talking to you next time on our second act with Paige and Silka. Thanks, Silka. For more videos on finding love after 50, please visit our website, secondact.tv. And if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Buttons right here. See you next time.